What's up, everybody? Oh. It's your boy, Ooch. <laughs> I'm here with my brother, Ooch. <laughs> and the homie, Kai. And we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? Yes, sir. Welcome back. Full Power Podcast. It's your boys, the trifecta here at it again with another episode of the greatest, latest, and... Uh, you know, we, we're, we're the most real ones out here when it comes to this Dragon Ball stuff. So we're back again for another uh, banger episode. We didn't get to talk about the chapter that just recently came out on last week's episode just because of the timing of the release, obviously. But we're pretty much just going to get right into it. We know how the drill goes. I'm going to just quickly go over um, everything that took place within this chapter because uh, obviously we know that it was a very, very good chapter I, i'll definitely say that it was a very good chapter i thought it was super 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 here no let me, let me not do that but i'll get the cheese out the way but it was it was a very good chapter to the point to the point kai check this shit out mm -hmm. your boy read the fucking chapter <laughs> yeah this guy actually read, and you guys already know this dude. Yeah, listen, he he knows how to read, but he don't like doing it. No, nope. no, he don't. <laughs> but like I've said in previous episodes, when it is an emergency situation, and I felt like this was this was a good time. I personally felt like it was. So, but of it was course, like borderline. <laughs> it was like borderline. <laughs> oh no 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 no. We're gonna get into it, I'm sure, but before before we get completely into it, brother, how you doing today, sir? I'm good. Living life, you know. Physicality, you know, mentality. Okay, yeah. bars. Yeah, okay. it's good. It's good. It's good. Chilling. Okay, Kai, what about you? Living like Larry. <laughs> 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 All right. All right, fellas. So. Let's get this. Let, let's get this. Let's get this recap uh, out and about and over with. Because, like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a very easy one to go through. For example, Goku and Gas. As we know, they're still fighting. They are actually doing exactly what we predicted they would do. In that, you know, they were going across from place to place, a bunch of different random areas. L quite literally. This is what the preview images were showing off in the initial teaser towards uh, this chapter that was coming up. And it gets to the point where he, he, it looked like Goku got him out so far that soon enough, soon thereafter, once they reach a certain like checkpoint, if you will, that's when Goku just jets it back. Right, and he's like, "Your instant transmission is not as good as mine," and, here, and I'm gonna prove it to you. You can, you could probably go from place to place, but you can't go the distance. You know what I'm saying? Makes perfect sense. But this particular place that they stopped at was actually the Galactic Prison, which we haven't seen since what well, the last arc, right? So I thought that that was a kind of nice little, I guess homage if you want to call it an homage i mean it only was the last arc but you know there was some there was some familiar faces in there none that i remember their names off the top of my head but the the dregs of sagimbo's gang is what gas uh referred to them as eventually pretty much they were trying to see if they could escape with him so that they can help him in whatever tyranny stuff that they got planned um but it was a li nice little tease, I guess, if you want to consider it one. But no one from that prison escaped. As a matter of fact, like I said, Goku literally just dipped it. Um, and Goku actually asked a, a very interesting question. Because he, he made a point saying that, like, so you, do you just do everything your brother says? Because you're way stronger than him. I bet you can make your own choices. So this is like very Goku right he's always like he's observant when it comes to these things unlike other things and i thought it was i thought it was interesting that he had this conversation with him because you know for the obvious that he noticed it and he called it out to see what how gas reacted so but gas's response is as such he said 
that he seeks power for his brother's sake alone. He follows his commands in order to make the heaters the supreme organization in the universe. So I guess Gas's motives are very like family, team, race oriented. Like he's on, he's doing it for the cause. He's not really interested in like like you know self-imposed goals. I guess you know he he he's he does the service for his people type shit. So which totally makes sense, I guess. And uh, he said, I was once the weakest among us, but Elik raised me to this level. I would do anything for him. So that kind of makes me wonder, like, is Elik, like, actually going to end up being, like, the strong... Like, is he the strongest of their bunch if he was able to raise Gas up to be that strong? I have to, I have to ask that question because I have no idea. Because we haven't seen this dude throw hands. Yeah, I feel like he, he will. Low key. But we can get into that later. So let's just get into the freaking... Let's just get the, this chapter review over with. So, again, they're fighting. Uh, meanwhile, Monaito is uh, trying to heal Granola. And then they're fighting what looks like to be in space. But, you know, going back to Goku and Gas. They end up in one of the Galactic Patrol spaceships. And then he somehow senses Whis on a nearby planet teleports him himself there obviously uh, gas follows him and so we see Whis for a little bit and we're like oh shit Whis is here so what's gonna happen now so all he does is goku's just like can you just you know watch him for a minute literally that's what he says and then he dips and and from one place to the last one by one goku instant t transmissions back i can't really say back and forth it was like back to back to where i guess he obviously ultimately uh, uh, you know started and so then he he finally makes it back but unfortunately since it's so far away gas was not able to just do it you know in that kind of fashion so when he tried to sense where goku was at Gas could not find them. So he's like, where'd he go? And then Whis literally says, if you must know Goku's return to planet Serial, it's a distance too great for you to warp directly. And then Gas literally asks him, which way is planet Serial? And he points to him. He points to the direction. So I was like, okay, we talked about this last week. We were like, yo, angels, they can't get involved. But yet, is this their way of not getting involved? Because I guess if he didn't tell him what did that mean? He mean like he's just siding with Goku like 100%? I guess we can, you know, see it that way. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, yeah dude. I got nothing. Yeah, because like, I'm That's reading that one. and I'm just like, I, I honestly, the what I see, the first thing I thought was that I thought that Gas was trying to throw hands for a second. You know, at least, you know, whiff a punch at something like pull a Broly. Nah, he's too heated right now. Fair enough. Yeah, he's got he, he he's pretty focused. I'm not gonna lie, gas. He don't get distracted. Yeah. That's cool about him. Nah, like, as soon as he asked, as soon as he left him with Whis and Goku left, I was like, yo, Whis is gonna tell him, be like, oh yeah, he went that way. You can chase his ass. Good call. <laughs> good call. Cause I didn't think that at all. I really thought I thought gas was about to be like, like try to threaten him or something. But I don't know. It's just like we, like we specifically, not all the angels, but you know, we're talking about Weiss here, right? Like he's right. just so nonchalant about everything, and he's just like having a stroll on Earth. You know, someone asks him a question as a tourist. Oh, which way is this? Like he don't care. Like yeah, sure, go that way. <laughs> <laughs> but see, so here I have, a, I do have a question though. Well, we we don't we don't have to try to answer it now, but you know, because we're almost, we're like halfway through this little uh, recap review here. When we, when Gas leaves, and mind you, he's flying back, like, <laughs> on foot. He's not on foot. He's flying on his own, by his own means. Um, Whis is chilling with the Oracle Fish. And the Oracle Fish literally says, who was that? And then Whis's reaction was like, huh? And I'm like, what was the significance of this? You know, like, was the Oracle Fish supposed to know? Like... How would they know? Or why did they care to know? Like, what was the significance behind that? That's why I, I was a little confused at that little part. Because why why the Oracle Fish said that? And then when Weiss said, huh? The way that they said it, I was like, I don't know. 
So either way, that's just anime ditziness just thrown in there like usual. I don't think it plays anything. Oh, you don't think you don't think it's going to mean anything later? No, I really don't because like we're talking about the angels here. So, I mean, we could totally have a moment where, you know, he was like, whoops, I didn't even notice him. But realistically, I don't know. I don't I don't really think I, I think that if he if he would have seen gas or sensed that or anything like they always know shit goes down like way ahead of time. Mm. True. True. All right. So I feel like it was like a like a comic relief slide. Okay. I guess yeah, I guess that's fair. I was just confused cuz I was like is he supposed to know who that is? Like like I don't know. But um so Goku's back on Earth or not Earth, but Serial Frosted Flakes, he's back on there. And you know, obviously the first thing he says is like we bought us some time. And then the 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 eye john that Granola used to wear actually like has its own little Giru body now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking the same thing. This dude pulls up in a fucking car. And he picks him up. He sco Vegeta's already in the freaking <laughs> in the in the passenger seat. And they're they're trying to go back to Granola's place. So they manage to escape. And we managed to also plant what looked like a dragon radar device, which it wasn't, but it looked like it. Onto Goku so that they could have like a freaking Uvu FaceTime conversation. <laughs> And then, um, what did it say? So, so Whis is like, I must say, I can't abide you interrupting my dessert, my dessert time. And Goku's like, sorry, but you were just the right distance away. And I knew he'd have to behave himself around you. So maybe Gas is aware of, like, he, he knows who the angels are. So that's why he wasn't going to fuck with them anyway. So that, that, I guess that would make sense. But then, and then Whis literally straight up told him, he's like, speaking of gas, he's hurtling toward you at breakneck speed. And Whis basically broke down the freaking math. He's like, yeah, he's going to be there in about 20 of your earth minutes. I'm like, that's crazy. So. And oh, oh, this is the, this is the, this is, this is the best part. Number one, best part. Number one, there's a best part. Number one, the best part. Number two. <laughs> so this is where Whis asks him. Like, has your training borne fruit yet? Which is, you know, obviously in reference to like, can you fucking master the Ultra Instinct? Can you do it? And Goku's like, I just can't keep my heart calm the way you do, Whis. And then, <laughs> oh man, like, oh, like, oh, Lord. I was, I was reading this shit. I'm like, oh my God, it's going to happen. Like right at that part, I was reading, I was like, oh my God, it's going to happen. Whis is like, that's understandable. As an angel, I am fundamentally different life form than you. It's every single bit of dialogue that means it has so much weight behind it. Because we take out so much from the little that we are shown for this for this series. But then when we're seeing when we're we're, we're following the dialogue between two characters having a conversation, there is so much to unpack. Like the fact that that we stated an obvious state or stated an obvious fact that they're fundamentally different life form that was almost like a reminding fact for people that were reading be like hey like just because you know goku can do a technique doesn't mean that you know he's gonna be on the same level as an angel and they even they they even already started saying that shit way earlier in this arc when he was starting to you know obtain like 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 maintain the mastered ultra instinct form and we was even saying i remember kai and i was talking about it saying like oh yeah there's levels to this shit like my ultra instinct like your ultra instinct it ain't gonna ain't gonna touch mine and mine ain't gonna touch my dad's I'm talking about the the grand priest you know what i'm saying same shit here so then Goku's like, so how do I learn to use Ultra Instinct better? The big question. We says, how many times I must I tell you? It's up to you to discover your own unique version of Ultra Instinct. 
Listen. Now, wait, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we all, oh, we all about this motherfucking instinct right here. We are, we are keeping the surname. Instinct is staying. Whatever this new shit is, it's gonna be in that name. Yes. And then and this, this line, this line is really the, the, the gut check. Listen to the voice within you, deep you know. down. What are you really? <laughs> to the voice and what voice do we hear reverberated when goku uses ultra instinct dude i'm pretty sure i'm giving you i'm giving you credit right now because i remember a, a conversation we had a long time ago and you had to remind me that when he was doing the ultra instinct the fucking ozaru yell Yes. Oh, oh, it oh my God. Every single time, even in Omen, we heard it and it was just so deep and layered. And we were like, oh, what is this? Oh my God. Oh my God. Nah, that's tough. Bro. The beast within the primal instinct. What are it's, it's going to be like Ultra Ozaru instinct. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> dumb shit. At this rate, I don't even care shit. what he calls it. At this rate, I don't care what he calls it. I don't. It doesn't even mean. I don't. I won't even be mad if they don't call it Primal Instinct. I won't be mad, you know, because that was like that's a that's a real missed opportunity. I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely, it is because if, especially if this is the route that they're going down, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's crazy because I'm pretty confident we're the only dudes out here talking about this shit for as <laughs> for as long as we have years literally years at this point especially if you're gonna at the especially if, if we're gonna even just date it back to when the broly film happened that's the soonest that we started talking about this shit and that was three years ago think even about then, that we still we were still talking about the ultra instinct voice and ozaru voice just like being there when we saw it in the top because we were like that yeah is different like that is something we've never heard see and 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 she and and that's and 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 this is this is the part where we have to we have to accept that sometimes when dragon ball does it right because think about the long-term storytelling facts you know what i'm saying like I know exactly where you're dude going. Th like and this is this is why like people that are so quick to shit on super i really just i can never agree with their stance because a lot of the reasons they have they just don't measure up to the overall like multitude of ideas that's going on in real time like to this day like I'm sure no one like if you were to ask anybody a simple question like like do you believe that Dragon Ball has any kind of long term storytelling? I'm sure most fans fans they will probably say no off rip. They will probably just the quick answer will be no. And then you ask them why. And then they're going to be like, "Oh, like it's a lot of the same shit." But granted, they're not wrong. Even if they're going to say that, it's a lot of the same cookie cutter. It's a Goku and Vegeta show. Goku's always stealing the, 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 the wins and shit and this and that and whatever. And there's a lot of truth behind that. But you know what? It's moments like this where, you know, we're, we're the ones that are essentially predicting and just kind of not even foreshadowing, but we're just foreseeing this shit. Like everything that that sculpts itself to where it's at now or what it's forming itself to be it's like you gotta think all of this where i'm where i would like to say like yo broly is where it started no this shit actually started when goku first went ultra instinct and he had that ozaru roar and guess what no one no it was like one of those things where it just went ever over everyone's head it, it like it's one of those things where it happened and then no one knew what to say so they just kept it kept it moving you know what i'm saying yo i'm not gonna nah, lie. we heard that bitch though what's your mean no 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 we heard it but we didn't we didn't understand like we didn't connect it to anything now i feel like we did no we no, no 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 there's I no feel way. like we said that was the ozaru yeah that, bro but that's it that was, 
that's what it was yeah but that that's 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 the thing that's the this is the one this is what i'm trying to say is that yes the three of us we were conscious and we were all in the in the know as soon as something like that happened we were we, like our ears was perked we we're like what what's going on like you know that's when the questions yo, start brewing yo. Answer me this. Do y'all think they will have like a Naruto moment where it's like, like Naruto and Kurama, like they're within, they're within Naruto. I mean, you know, no. you know where I'm going with this. Right? <laughs> no. You know exactly where I'm going with this. Uh, no. It's either, it's either, <laughs> it's either we're about to see Goku go within himself and look at a giant ass ape. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. No. I, I, I thought I, I'm not even gonna lie I thought about that um and I instantly never brought it up because the second I thought about it I laughed I said haha to myself that shit Th would be kind of weird that would be exactly it wouldn't make sense because that see that would be a very left field type shit you know we've never seen or ha would have any reason to believe that their inner ozarus like their 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 great ape forms are like a separate entity that's not the right, case right, with this right, at right. all they like the saiyans the are the monkeys they are the apes they transform into the apes the tailed beasts are separate they were literally implanted they were fucking like fused i guess you could say that like they were they were they were put into the characters that they were put into but and they were sealed so if the seal was fucking weak and if the and if the and if the tailed beast didn't fuck with the person that was holding them in they could fuck with them and they could try to leave and escape and and if that happens the person's dead you know what i'm saying remember when they when they was trying to take that shit from gara yeah. and and they were able to save his life after they took it out because of uh what was it what freaking uh what was her name the grandma i know you're talking Ch about. chio 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 ba sa chan whatever i remember her <laughs> with the puppets that fucking classic right there but so do so do you so this is a i don't really think it's a stretch but it's just an idea do you think whenever this probably maybe within this next chapter or two i guess do you think when goku like kind of realizes what's within him and shit like and it, he kind of taps in deeper within the ultra instinct do you think the tail will grow out by itself wow i didn't even think of that <laughs> kai you want to you yeah. want to answer that first because that would be dirty but then like like will it now now the question would be after that is will it stay after or will it go back i think it would stay uh that's a hard one. Oh, that's oh, oh that's a great I think it one. would stay. I think it would stay. I love a challenging question. I love a challenge. That's a great fucking question. That that could go any direction and they could make it work. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> they better steal my shit. I wouldn't bro. even fucking be mad, son. I I wouldn't even be mad. People would literally quite literally call that an ass pull, especially from how it looks, but <laughs> dude the the one thing i will say is this in regards to that question and then and then we're gonna wrap we're gonna we're gonna keep going and then we can go back to it but the one thing i can definitely say is that if that was to happen that would well yeah if it was to happen either it would it would it would go away because if we look at the movie there is no tail right but that doesn't mean it doesn't mean that they purposefully animated what they did for the trailers on purpose and just didn't include it right because and i can and in and, and here and so i'm basically what i'm doing is i'm playing devil's advocate here I'm, I'm literally giving you both ends that it could work or it's not nah i totally forgot about the movie you just reminded me so i'm gonna go with nah no but no, wait, wait, no 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 wait, wait here's my here's my other point when it comes to that though all right Spider-Man No Way Home, 10 out of 10, greatest fucking Marvel movie of all time, better than Endgame, never changed my mind about that. When they released their trailers, okay, when they released the final trailer promoting the film, 
there was a scene that was very deliberate. And because it was all CGI, they were able to remove elements, aka a cer certain characters from that shot. Where when you go see the movie, everybody's in place. Now, I'm bringing that, in, I'm bringing that up because there's also a thing called trailer trickery where tr their trailers will literally do that they'll have they'll, they'll they'll it's almost like they create some sort of illusion like you feel like oh my god like how is this gonna happen when it looks like it's one on three but realistically it was three on three the entire time but you won't know that until you go see the movie because we have that kind of technology now where especially with these superhero films you can literally shoot something or you know produce it in a certain way but literally take certain portions out for a certain time period so that you're not spoiling something that's a major and the trailer does still serves its purpose for hyping up the movie and giving people you know enough of a reason to go out pay it for a ticket and go watch that bitch right i feel like a tale in dragon ball's perspective especially since you know they're kind of going in a similar direction with you know, it's all CG and, you know, all that kind of stuff for this movie. I'm pretty sure a tail, if Goku was to get that shit popped out right here, wouldn't be a challenge or an, uh, or a problem for them at all. So, just, just for food for thought. And also, I will add this. The movie got delayed. I don't know if you guys heard about that. But I did. Toei recently got hacked. And a lot, every single, like, like it, it looks like a lot of their projects, like One Piece, everything got affected. So it, it indefinitely, immediately kind of stopped everything that they was working on and delayed everything. So it's original, it, so it's not coming out in Japan next month anymore. It's most likely going to come out later this summer. So do you think they're like, redoing parts of the movie then well not redoing but what does this do this could be a, a a blessing in disguise because now they can make it they can work on it more and make the animation like really really good i mean it's pretty it, i'm not saying they're not they're gonna go from what it looks like now to just call knocking on shintani's door and being like oh hey can you make this shit look like the broly movie please in a few months like I don't think that's how it's going to be at all. They're still going to stick with that, but I'm sure it'll maybe, hopefully, look a lot better. And, yo, I'm not even going to lie. I don't even care about the fucking animation quality anymore. I really don't. Because that is the last thing that I, I care about just off of what the fuck is pretty much going to happen in that movie. But that's, 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 that's another topic in and of itself. So, back to the chapter really quick, right? Manito says, there's something I have to show you. He whips out a fucking scouter. Crazy. I was like, oh my god, that's Bardock's. I already knew who it was. I was like, that was definitely B Bardock's, right? And yo, I, I think Kai, I think you're going to be with me on this one, right? Brand, you probably might be too. The part where Vegeta says, allow me, and he puts it on. Oh, that was a nice little like, oh, yo, we yeah. haven't seen this dude with a scout, yo. It was OD. He couldn't fucking work it though, but nah, he, he you know, he worked it because he said it was broken. He, he worked it. It was broken though. So, but you know, he he was able to figure out though that there was evidence of saved audio data though, which is the next best part of this fucking th of this chapter, right? So. So they figure maybe we can listen to whatever was on there and figure out how Bardock defeated Gas. So, you know, Vegeta, of course, mentions like we could have Bulma repair it, but that might take too long because they're on a whole completely different plan. They don't have time because Gas is literally on the way right now. And that probably wouldn't be a good idea to bring his ass to Earth because, you know, that's where all their family's at and we, we know how that goes. So... What is it? Uh, Granola's... I keep forgetting its freaking name. The freaking eye thing. The the eye Giru. Granola Giru. We're going to call him Giru for now. 
He said, I, I can access the circuitry di directly and play the audio via my speakers. So he plugs it up. He's got a little aux jack. <laughs> like he literally has a fucking auxiliary cord. That shit's funny as hell. It powered back on. And this is where shit gets come. It, it, it goes so left in the, in the best way fucking possible. And I did not, I did not see this happening. This, this is what I'm talking about. When Dragon Ball gets it right, when Toyotaro and Toriyama are really on their shit, it's fucking amazing. It is fire. Like, this is the best shit in manga, I believe, right now. Better than what's going on in Boruto. And better than what's going on in fucking My Hero Academia. I can tell you that right now. There's a few other things that I read. This shit right here is better than everything. I'll stand on this shit. So, crazy. I'm telling you. I'm, <laughs> dude. That's crazy. This is a huge moment. Do you realize? That? Oh, we're going to get to it right now. So they're listening to the audio and they're hearing Bardock talk and Bardock says that attack had to have some effect. Monaito, use this chance to get as far away as you can. I'll slow gas down. Listen to me. You have to stay alive. And I'm sure when he, when Goku heard, stay alive, stay alive, he immediately had a fucking flashback to when they sent him off the fucking planet, bro. And right. Yo. But I wonder if that's gonna allow him to tap in deeper into himself. Like, to, you know. Dude. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. But, yo. But here's... Okay, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Here's the crazy shit. Right? So, the, the part where... He hears his dad's voice and it's like his body is having like uh like some sort of like reaction to it, right? And it, visually representing that trauma or that like state of mind or like stress that he's going through, you see like all of these like sparks and shit all around them. But and I didn't call this out of my reaction. So this is a full power fucking exclusive right here. Okay. I was too excited to even notice this. But I'm sure I'm going to call this shit out. And you guys are probably going to be like, oh my God. Right. If you look at Goku's eyes. When he is in this state. That is the same look that Gohan had when he went into his fucking ape form. That is like the look that they have when they look at the moon. Oh. Yeah. I just, it just occurred to me. I'm like, bro. And, and, and look, 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 and this, this could be a stretch. And this is, this is awesome. I'm thinking of this on the fly right here. Okay. Because there's a few theories and, and a few things to talk about from this but let, let, let's finish this chapter we, we're gonna get back to that shit right okay because i'm telling you this is this is gonna be od so at this from this point onward they're having a flashback between bardock and uh gas but gas is not even in his like powered up full power uh berserk state and it seemed like gas was already like, like, Gas was, they, like, it's almost like they just started fighting or something. Because Gas was like, judging from his tail, I suppose he must be a Saiyan. And a powerful fighter, too. We believed only the low-class grunts were sent to this planet. Perhaps we were wrong, right? So I feel like from that dialogue, we can literally maybe, you know, take away that the Saiyans were slept on. At least, you know, they were, in, they, they thought that no, they wouldn't have to worry about shit. But clearly, Bardock was not among those weak Johns. So Bardock is able to actually get some good offense in on him, some gut checks. He hits him down, and and so and then and then it goes back to the part where uh, Bardock says what they heard on the on the on the scouter when he says, "Use this chance to get as far away as you can. I'll slow gas down." Listen to me. You have to stay alive, right? And then that's when Gas comes out from where he got hit back. 
And then he's like, I'm going to end this now. I cannot afford to have Elik lose faith in me. Not here. And he ordered me to handle this without delay. And that's where the chapter fucking ends, okay? Mm -hmm. So, the first thing I want to definitely say... And then I'm going to let you guys say whatever you guys want to talk about first with this chapter. Is at this point, I got the impression that the reason why he told Manito to just get as far away as he possibly could is maybe he was going to turn into his great ape form. That's what I think. But I don't think so. Yeah, man, anyway. yeah I could see that. Because, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that makes sense low key. Just because, like, Bardock knew how to tap into that shit, too. Like, because I, because their eight forms were, were used back then. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and, that, and he knew that was, like, probably his best weapon. So, yeah. that you makes sense. Do you realize Saiyans were literally on their Attack on Titan shit before Attack on Titan even existed? Think about yeah, that. Think of, fuck, let that fucking sink in for a second. <laughs> and they it's the same type of energy too like you know titans can transform whenever they want by biting themselves the saiyans make their own moons <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yes sir that's different nah but i mean i don't even know just, that's why i said this chapter was like borderline important just because like, no. they said they said the key they said the key words that they needed to and all that but then it's like now i need more like i need to see like right. what the, the next chapter fucking has to has to offer so is there any is there anything else that kai do you want to bring up to talk more about in this chapter at all no it, no Bran, what about you Nah, not really. I mean, I I already kind of said my little piece. Okay. Like as far as far as like, because I mean, I could kind of predict the next chapter. Like they're probably they're gonna go more in depth about the Bardock and Gas. Hopefully, it'll finish off by the halfway mark or whatever, and then they'll kind of revert back to Goku to see what he's going through, and then maybe, maybe if they're fucking nice, they'll they'll uh, well. So, so, uh, towards the end, Gas can, they, they could probably put Gas back in, like, Gas made it back to the planet or whatever. Right, wherever right. Goku, wherever they're at, they might end it off around there, my guess. And then, um, but then this is, this is, th once Gas comes back, everyone gotta realize that this is when Goku gotta tap in. So, well, we're gonna be done with all this flashback shit, and then... Probably halfway through the chapter or something like Goku's gonna like by the time Gas gets back or when Gas gets back he knows he, he like he's gonna probably try going Ultra Instinct or some shit but he's gonna do it differently and it's gonna be in, it's gonna be a way to where he he goes deeper within himself and accesses the full potential or the the newer form that we're we've been talking about. But it would be fucking kind of insanity if somehow he he transformed into Ozaru, kind of like a GT moment, and then he has to revert back into you know. That would be too good. That would be fucking retarded, <laughs> <laughs> crazy, <laughs> retarded, crazy. But these are just like high, like hypothetical like positions like Dragon Ball can really go into. So I already laid out the chapter for everybody. So. <laughs> and I don't even read. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, you would be able to fool someone with with what you're able to take in from when I tell you what happens. You remember it as if like you watched an episode of it or something. Like you know the stories. Like, you know, I told you everything that happened with the with the uh with the moral arc last arc, you know. So and that, 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 nothing changes here, but I'm <laughs> I can't wait for next month. April's gonna be a big fucking month. Got, got some ideas in there. 
Now, so this is the this is the one thing that I want to ask you guys. I want to see how far fetched. Now, you guys know I, I come up with fucking theories on the fucking fly. Okay, I'm pretty good at this. All right. Now, this one, this theory that I, I thought about, I feel like might be one of my most far fetched theories ever. Because again, this is something we've never seen done in Dragon Ball before. But they they, they can start, right? So you know how he says you have to stay alive, right? And it was the those words, you have to stay alive, that triggered Goku, okay? Literally triggered him. We visually see that happening in this chapter. He got triggered. He remembers now. Think about this. He was sent off at a very young age. He was probably like, what, like three, if that, two, at the youngest, as a baby, okay because they retconned even how he got shipped okay they retconned that shit with the broly film so goku was at a point in his life where he was able to remember things he knew who his parents were at the least as from you know what we got out of that movie and they sent him away and now obviously the rest is history we know what happens he fucking he 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 lands on earth he comes out the pod. Grandpa Gohan finds his ass, tries to take care of him. He falls in a fucking, you know, in some like deep ditch cliff off a mountain type shit right on his head. Becomes a completely different person. It's almost as if certain characteristics were just amplified for Goku. Because we already got confirmation that Goku is like his dad. His dad is not all about just being that cool motherfucker in the corner with the scar on his face and, you know, he's all arms crossed and this and that. As you can tell from this arc, we've seen Bardock has a compassionate side. And everybody and their mothers w wanted to automatically assume that he got that shit from Gine, his mother, Goku's mom, right? He got it from his dad. It partially, you know, not it can't, you know, we we can't leave out Gine cuz obviously like genetics can be, you know, shared or whatever, but he got that shit from his pops. So what if when he hit his head, it just brought that out to the front? And now, for whatever reason, now that he heard his dad's voice and he now, rem he completely just remembers seeing when he got shipped away. What if that automatically just brings out the fucking inner <laughs> saying that has been dwelling for the longest time ever since Dragon Ball, son? ever since then i mean i mean i'll add to it it's it, it, that could be why he can't um control his heart pace his what you know what i mean like his heart probably like, oh like when oh, well like he, when he's transforming when, when he's trying he's to calm down for yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, elder instinct pretty much dude because 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 i i mean ultra instinct already says it all it's about being one with yourself and i mean goku's not technically one with himself right now so dude but the, but but the whole the, the thing is right is we just kind of made it abundantly clear that goku is going to eventually master this like he's already he already knows how to use this technique okay emphasis on technique okay people beings right they can learn techniques okay but even if you can learn it does that mean that you are where that shit came from let's think about that what is the one thing that Goku is known to do? The fucking saying, the pun quite literally, monkey see, monkey do. Okay? And that's that's a that's a common, it's not just with Goku, that's a common practice with these sayings. 
rightfully so they are fucking monkeys literally right <laughs> this man we've seen him all throughout his career his life he was taught all this shit that i'm sure sans was never doing think about it from the kamehameha to the solar flare to the destructo disc to the instant teleportation to the kaioken my dude goku was raised up as an earthling and was taught things not just by earthlings but from other beings like the yard rats and he's equipped all that shit to his own arsenal and for the longest time the one thing that he has missed out on was his own saiyan ability like deep within deep within and when he when, and, and so I, i'm getting to this so i feel like what if hearing his own dad and now visualizing it in his head is doing exactly that and he is now going to just it's almost like he is becoming Kakarot. Like he is going to be like his almost like his best version of himself. Because I we said this last week, like the Saiyans are nerfed. They were nerfed from the get-go. But this dude right here, this dude, Goku, he's literally about to become Kakarot, son. Mm-hmm. Any thoughts? Any thoughts at all? I already, I already said my shit. <laughs> I hope he does, but I don't think he will. The other thing that I that I uh, that I thought was this is like a super stretch, like super super stretch. Because <sighs> again, they, we've never seen this happen. But imagine if. They had like voice commands that triggered shit to happen to the Saiyans. And like for some reason, him hearing you have to stay alive triggered all of that. And now Goku's like back. Kakarot is back. <laughs> like, like, dude. It's funny because I just recently read, it's nothing to do with Dragon Ball, but I just recently read an issue of Ultimate Spider Man where. Harry Osborne was, he's gone through years and years of like hypnotism, hypnotism, hypnotism therapy or some shit. And they kind of like fucked with his head to the point where like they did it to just try to keep his sanity and to make him feel as normal as possible. But the second they said cellar door he transforms to the fucking green gob uh, to the hop goblin and i was like and and this relates to this because i'm like yo what if goku hearing his dad say you have to stay alive is like a trigger towards like yo what if that what if that voice command is the trigger to do what you said brandon the fucking tail just emerges to transform into the eight I mean, we got. This is why I say we gotta just see next chapter, cause I laid out all all of my possible hypotheses, cause that's one of them, you know. So. <laughs> but then look within gotta yourself. Wait. Gotta wait. This man. Yeah, we do. We definitely. We got obviously we got no choice, but man. I just, uh, 80, chapter 83 is probably going to be one of the biggest chapters in the history of this fucking series of all time. I, 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 I really feel like that, that is what is going to happen. If they're going to like directly continue off of the things that happened from this chapter. Nah, I'm going to say 84 because 83 is going to be backstory. You think so? Yeah. So we're not leaving the Bardock vs. Gas yet no so do you think we're gonna see bardock do something special that might tie into what goku 
is inevitably going to end up doing. Uh, I, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> you know, man, I don't know. <laughs> like... I mean, they, niggas can make their own moon, <laughs> and, and, and you know, right? They they could they could try. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know how Vachita did it the one time. He just fucking. He said, "Burst and mix, boom, done." <sighs> Dude, think just think about when the last time Vegeta made his own like fake moon. But that's what I'm talking about. Like, unless unless some like the only way i'm i don't know bro it's just a stretch because like because unless they see bardock do that himself on that planet that they were on like in the flashback and then he transforms into an ape that'll give goku an idea okay hold on hold on <laughs> hold on i just <laughs> I just had it. Another idea. Another idea. Right. There. Nah, nah. This is not even new. This is. I think. I think we figured out. I. I'm pretty. I. Oh my god. Okay. You, you're, I'm gonna say this, and there's no way that you're gonna be able to unsee this. Okay. And this is where. This is. I feel like this is checkmate. This is the best form of checkmate you could ever fucking have. All right. Let's say. That Goku is, you know, he's going through all of this right now. And for some weird ass reason, he is able to get that tail out and he's, and he transforms, right? He just goes into Ozaru. Crazy. In that, in that in and of itself is huge. But what have we been talking about? What is Whis telling Goku? What is this whole idea of Ultra Instinct? To calm yourself to keep your shit at a serenity level to regain that shit to just so if he's an ape and if he starts to calm down <laughs> but, dude his master ultra instinct is super saiyan 4 son come on <laughs> Dead. It's gonna happen. <laughs> nah, but you know a, a great clip though out of that, out of that thought process. It's Goku like does he transforms or whatever out the blue, blah blah blah. But then he, but he's out of control, you know. And then whether it's Whis or whether it's somebody else that's with him that starts screaming like, Goku, remember, like, calm yourself, or and that those are trigger words. Mm. So that so that way it connects him, and then you know he just slows down as ape form, and then he progresses back into <sighs> you know. I think I, I, if if <laughs> I see that moment. if I see that shit happen, I will I will cry on on the so spot. Do you, think, right there. do you think they're gonna retcon it by giving him white hair with the with the super? Saiyan I just four? dude, Kai, you're in my fucking head. Get out. I fucking Get out. hope. Get out. I fucking hope. This dude was <laughs> in. He was literally in my fucking head because I'm in I, right here. I swear, I, I swear to fucking all things good. Yo, this is why we, this uh, is why it's the three of us. Be, this is why it is the three crazy. of us. Crazy, Dude. I mean, they think about it. The original, the original version was full gold, you know, with the, like the yellow hair. You see, are you talking about Super Saiyan 4? Yeah. Super Saiyan 4. When no, they, no, no, when no. They had a, so, you want me to explain it? Go ahead, Yeah, man. go ahead. So I think... I'm pretty sure in GT when like Goku went like he was ape form or whatever he was gold. Yeah. Then when he, when he reverted back down, essentially Super Saiyan four, that was when he just had the gold aura around him. Yes. You know. Yeah. But his hair wasn't gold; it was black. Yeah. White, red eyes. Red fur, red eyeliner, yellow eyes. So like, so like, <clears throat> I don't. But I the, I forget how his ape form was gold. That I don't really remember. I don't remember um, why or how his his um, ape yeah. form was gold. I don't remember. I don't know why yeah. it was. 
like i don't know if he was like pre-transformed like into a super saiyan form and then went ape and then like shit happened or whatever like that way i don't even know oh but, i think okay Okay, see now, oh man, this is crazy. We talk, see, you know it's some real shit when we got a reference GT. Oh, oh, oh. Cause yo, this is. I hate referencing GT. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, but but to to answer what Kai was saying, the original concept art was never gold. It was always the red fur, black hair, because uh, Toriyama made concept art for that form for gt mm. and it was the black hair red fur <clears throat> it's always been that way the, the the gold shit is probably fan fan made but but thinking back to how i think this is one of the reasons why or the reason why because if you remember baby vegeta's ozara was also gold yeah right, right right so i think what happened was because they were on new planet vegeta right baby i think he did something with whatever moon that had some sort of different like how do i say this like it had like a different type of blood wave emission uh. so so this brings me back to an old ass topic that i i, I feel like i might have talked about with geekdom or something but and we're, I'm talking years ago. Like, this is holy shit. Like, I, st I, st I might have still been in college. Wait, 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 wait. So I just looked it up. I'm thinking uh, I messed it up. Apparently, that was the original design they came up with for, with, for Super Saiyan God. Right. Yes. That was That's a, what I was thinking. That was, of. yeah, yeah. The, I've seen fan pics of their yeah. depiction of what Super Saiyan God would have looked like, but yeah because i remember during that time everyone was pissed with how super saiyan god looked like you know but they had released they had released even around that time they said that that was the original concept design for it it was just like a golden super saiyan 4 look and then they trashed it oh see then that's and then that's, that's why it blew up and that that's why other people started like drawing it and recreating it because it was never done. i see okay okay so i feel like they're trying to bring it back this time around except it's gonna be with like instead of you know in gt it was it was the gold Ozaru, and then he transformed down, and you know he was black and red, but his pants were still gold. I feel like they might be silver to match the silver hair this time. Yo, I hope. <laughs> Yo, side note on off of that, what you just said. Don't you think it's so fucking ridiculous, like in a, in a crazy way, where the form is so powerful, the clothes change too. <laughs> right. <laughs> I always I always thought that shit was so fucking funny. Like, it never made sense. Like, when you really think about it, like, why did he just get a whole new getup? But who cares? It looks so sick. You know what I'm saying? Who cares? It's fire. Yeah. Like, but to the other thing that you said about if, what if his, like, like what if he 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 has the white hair as if, like, the, the whole Super Saiyan 5 thing. And, like, well, like I said, when I tell you that I literally just, like, it was, like, right here in the side of my head. I was like, you know, it would be interesting if they decided to, in a sense, pay homage, but not really paying homage to a fan-made, never designed, never authentically, officially designed Super Saiyan 5. But everybody has always had this general idea that Super Saiyan 5 would always have white hair, right? That has been a thing since the 90s. This is how old that shit is. But here we are in 2022, and guess what? The best way to make everybody just be like, oh, this doesn't matter anymore. Like, we're not going to get this because guess what? This is the real version now. I mean, listen, if they decide to retcon Super Saiyan 4 in this new way where it's like on some primal instinct, ultra instinct, mastered instinct type shit. And it, and if and if and if and if y'all if he gets like even if the eye color changes to whatever, as long as he has the fur and the tail, and the I want and, him and the same hairstyle. The, I want him to have the white hair. 
Yeah, he got to keep if the Ultra the eye, Instinct eyes, if too. The, if the eye color changes to yellow and or silver, like, that would be fire, it's gotta, too. It's got to be silver. It's got to. It would be fun. Like, and, 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 and yo, but, he, but here's the thing, right? I feel like what we're saying, what we're, what we're conceptualizing right now, it doesn't even mean that that's it. Like, that could literally just be, like, he just pulled something out of his ass while implementing the technique because remember ultra instinct is a technique it is not a form it it, it it has its own like visual representation of it but it's not a form it's not a transformation it is a it is a technique which mm. means that he could stack it he is i said this we've said we've all said this already ultra instinct is another kaioken he already did stack it. Right. He exactly. I forgot about that, but he, exactly. He did. He we we seen the stacking already. My man is out here playing fucking magic. Okay, stacks. <laughs> right. It's it's stupid. Okay. But who's to say? Like yo, if 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 his if his mastered instinct shit involves Super Saiyan four, that doesn't rule out that if he's just doing Super Saiyan four by himself. We can't get the classic look either. I'm just I'm just putting that out there as a thought. Mm. With the black hair, red fur. Because listen. I mean that that shit was fine. Yeah, I mean we like 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 I like the new the, this new version, we're already all over it. Like we already love it. And we haven't even fucking seen it yet, right? But at the end of the day, we're all there's always gonna be a moment where it's like, oh man. I kinda I wish we saw the original shit. Like I said, man, people love to hate on GT, but they love Super Saiyan 4. And that was the best thing that happened in fucking GT. Yeah. Fuck you mean. Yeah. It was one of the, I would say probably like top two moment. There was that in Gogeta. Yes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, exactly. Which, which involved Super Saiyan 4, so. All right. Yeah. So, I mean, this is, they're, they're literally within a retcon, a retcon stage. As we see within this chapter alone, and with the you know super movie like with Broly, you know there's a We're lot of things. Talking about them getting closer and closer to Super Saiyan Four, literally since Broly, it's about time. Dude, and 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 now is now, now is the time. So yo, this just would makes you, me you, real quick. Real go quick go I go just ahead. want you to. I just want you to prepare for when they don't take this route exactly <laughs> <laughs> i just want you to i just want you to think about that for a moment because we're all we're all up in our own world right now but you got to remember how many times we've been up in our own world and they're like nah <sighs> nah see this would be so fucked up i'll be so upset i'll i'll this this we're like they'll just over skip fucking super Saiyan for us nah like they just they just don't do anything <laughs> Like, it's just like anything. the same shit. Like, he's the same white hair, same everything. No change, no Zaru. Like, they did all this sane referencing for nothing. Like, yeah. I know what Kai's trying to say. The same way they keep name dropping Frieza for nothing or giving Vegeta new forms for nothing. <sighs> yeah, well. This is. Know, like, this is a huge this turning point for the, for the series, I feel like. I feel like it can be, but I've seen the mess up shit so many times. I'm just, well, I'm just praying. Why, this is why the next like two chapters are the most important right now. That's facts. Because it's going to give us all the details we need to know. Yep. Yeah. Or, yeah. So uh, pretty much. Oh my God. <sighs> I will. Yep. I, I know I've set us up for some crazy emotions to take place if none of this shit happens and i and i will admit if none of this happens like i, I shouldn't say if none of this because even if, if they do like variations then i'll be okay but if <laughs> if absolutely none of it happens i will i will truly be i will truly feel like wow like they really set this up to be one of the greatest things to ever happen to this fucking thing, and they just let it fall flat on its face. Oh, hey, yo. they flopped. Eh. Listen, man, I don't want to even think about it like that because 
I'm like I'm I'm this I'm this surprised that we're we're this deep into this arc and we've been pretty spot on with just with how just how with how we see things could go and just referencing all of the connections and the clues and the references for it to just make sense for us to predict what's going to happen next see this didn't really happen as much in the moral arc. With the moral arc, we, Kai and I really was like, we were like, like up to a point, we were like, oh my God, like we just wrote this shit ourselves. But then once that point happened, after that, it continued and we were just like, oh my God, we, we didn't see none of that shit happening. But with this, this is this is just this is not just a within the arc kind of thing this has been like a within several different you know moments throughout the series that all kind of tie back to this like dude this doesn't like kai said dude this doesn't even this doesn't th 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 this start the starting point was not broly like i originally said this shit goes back to the tournament of power with you know what's you know what's funny too back in the tournament of power like that whole ozaru voice thing that i almost missed it and i say that i almost missed it because i pretty much just overlooked it i really didn't yeah, think twice that, about it i yes. was like oh that's cool that's that's a cool effect for his new form right. but i didn't think twice about it it wasn't until the dub came out and i watched it there and i saw in both languages it was like produced the same way with that layering for the voice and i was like oh no nah, that's not that's something different dude and, and that you, was meant to be there yes for a reason. it was intentional that's just what i'm gonna say dude we got and 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 this is what i mean because 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 here's the thing here and this is the last thing because i know we're like over time right now but the last thing here is that we've all we've all understood where the story is like in its place like within the 10 year gap of z right we have been like at the forefront of our minds actively wondering when the fuck is this shit gonna stop right like when is it going to get out of this 10 year gap so that we can get into the grand tour thing of things you know what i'm saying uh so with those things in mind, this this right here, this shit tells me that they're also very aware, despite them trying to fucking squeeze in everything within this shit at the same time. But this is really good because if this plays out the way that it does, that that means that they've been very delicately like timing everything with a proper buildup and 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 that was a point as well as oob oob got name dropped before the tournament pack fucking happened and oob for the you know for a good portion of gt he played a pretty he played like a decent enough role i mean he he started off in gt fighting with goku training or whatever and then he comes in as majub and all that shit later on so I mean he wasn't like as crucial like as you know you know Goku and and v Vegeta eventually and shit like that but my whole point is that they've been priming us for years and we're almost at that takeoff point where like we're there like like it's going to happen like like this arc is going to happen and we're going to see all this shit take place the movie's gonna come out. The movie is gonna definitely stake the end of Super. This is the last Super. Like, because I'm pretty sure whether Cell is gonna be in that fucking movie or not. Stop. I'm, whether he's gonna be in it or not, that film is gonna end with the end of Z. They're gonna have that moment. I really hope to God that they do. Because that would be the best way to close the Super book the the not even the super mini series that took place within dragon ball z because super is dragon ball z it is literally within dragon ball z 
People forget that shit. Guess the fuck what? Wake up. Super is within. Here's Dragon Ball Z. I'll fit my hands within the fucking frame. Okay? Here's the end. Here is Super. This <laughs> is Super. Boo was right here. Okay? Here's the beginning. Here's fucking Raditz. Boo. Super. End of Z. There's your visual. They gotta get they gotta get past this shit. The superhero movie has to be where it stops. I don't even care if it's an after credit scene. It just has to happen. So that way, the, whether it's the next manga arc or if it's the fucking anime that everybody's waiting for, they need to fucking keep keep it going. No, nah, but here's the fucked up part about whenever they decide to reanimate the shit. Like, are we gonna see everything in the, from the manga, or are they just gonna start off with fucking? The end of Z, blah, 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 and then move forward. Because these motherfuckers been milking shit. Fucking dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dicks. Honestly, I... Unfortunately, I feel like they're not going to animate the shit that yeah, they did for the manga. I already lost hope. Yeah. <laughs> they're, too, they're, so, too, they're too deep. They're too deep. They're way too deep. These motherfuckers waited. Well, like they yo, like well, hmm. like how you gonna how you gonna decide like really think about it like how are, how how are you as a creator just gonna like go through the moral arc as long as it was now we're in this arc or whatever like we're already two arcs deep like like like, they, like you feel me like you probably just have to make a fucking movie out of that bitch. Well, what you could do is if they really if they really wanted to elongate and just keep making all the money they can like this is the most optimal thing that they that toei could do is that whenever they get the green light to start doing the anime the tv anime for dragon ball whether it's super or whatever the fuck they decide to call it they should heavily think about and consider animating what they never did in the anime so that way there's no fillers. There's no bullshit episodes. There has to be no fillers and, at this point. Yeah, exactly. Right. There has you you understand? Yo, I will kill Nikki. <laughs> at this point. What do you mean? <laughs> there ain't no shot. <laughs> no shot. He doesn't Absolutely mean that. No. He's he's just fucking playing around, guys. It doesn't mean that. Yo, for real. yo, nah, bro. Like, like they, they have we have two full arcs. You're you're not gonna throw in fillers. There is n like there's, bodies will be dropped. <laughs> like, this, nigga, this ain't no game no more, bro. They've been milking my time, <laughs> fucking years again. I'm not waiting book series, nigga. <laughs> I'm not doing that shit again. Ah oh, man, um, I'm done with this shit. You're not I'm, wrong. I got I got no more words. That's the best that's the best course of action. The best course of action because honestly at that point they wouldn't have to really worry about like the manga being like side to side with it anymore. You know, because that's right. that's what happened. Exactly. You see and it would get yo, I honestly I on, I really wouldn't mind rewatching everything in anime form that we read. Oh hell no. I mean, I honestly, you see it. we get best of both worlds if they do it this way because if they actually do do it this way, especially with no filler, we'll get by faster, number one, but it'll allow them to, like, build the manga for the fresh after Z. You know? Yeah, like, that. that so, that's how it should be. Manga should always be ahead of the, the anime. So this way, it will it will be ahead. And right. I mean, Dragon Ball is really necessarily... They, they've never been ahead, I'm pretty sure. Mm. They've always been side by side, pretty much. For the most part. Well, kinda. back in the day, the manga Maybe was pretty sure Yeah, back in the day, sure, sure, but now, nowadays, it's been different. So. Yeah. So, like, this, this will give them that opportunity if they actually decide to, you know, give us what we fucking want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. All right, well, Kai, you got any, any, any last things that you want to throw out there for the people or anything you want to just say? Yeah, I mean, this is, it's really just another one of those things that's just too good to be true, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not holding out hope for nothing, because they've, 
they've crushed it enough times. But you know what? I will say this to all the people trying to think about it optimistically. Check this out. You know what you haven't realized yet? If we do get this, we do get this, uh, you know, primal instinct, primal ape instinct, Super Saiyan 4, recolor, reskin, retextured, whatever you want to call it, right? That means we're getting Gogeta with it <gasps> again. Exactly. Ooh. You know what's happening. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna just leave oh. that right there. Oh, bro, Oosh, <laughs> any last words? Nah, man. I mean, stay fresh, stay clean. Y'all already know. Stay positive. You feel me? Work on yourselves every day. Nah, yeah, boys out. All right, nice send off there. All right, everybody, ladies and gentlemen, that has been episode forty-seven. That yo. What a great seven. episode 47 <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying man oh man that is awesome guys as you guys should already know hit us up fullpowerpod at gmail.com that is fullpowerpod at gmail.com there will be a link in the description to the youtube channel so whether you're watching this via video or you're hearing us via audio hit the subscribe button and the alerts over on youtube to support your favorite anime dragon ball full power podcast okay we'll definitely appreciate that make sure you are liking the video leaving your comments and if you want to hear us talk about whatever related to dragon ball of course or anime in general let us know in those comments below or hit us up via email at fullpowerpod uh, at gmail.com it's been your boy brother Ooch, the homie kai make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power protect keep it locked later right here on this podcast stay safe stay clean stay the hell inside and we'll see y'all next time